I uh, don't really know how to start this video. Um, Cyber, my best friend, um, recently has discovered that he has a brain tumor, a pretty extensive one in the lower part of his brain, and um, it's slowly reaching his spinal cord. And when that happens, he will die. Um, I got this news today. <clears throat> and uh, it still hasn't registered, like, that this is really happening. So, I guess I'll just talk about it for a bit and vent about it, because this is how I do that. Um... This has been going on for a while. I didn't know until today, but back in like May to June, I just had this hunch that he had some type of cancer or tumor. And, you know, I just had people telling me otherwise. I had people, and when I say people, I'm mainly talking about vets. They were telling me that it was because his weight they were telling me blah 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 and I just knew in the back of my mind that you know it was something else like the medication that he was on for stuff clearly wasn't treating it and um, they thought it was Addison's and the reason why they thought that is because the tumor started uh, where Cyber's brain produces hormones so when he wasn't producing these hormones, they associated that with Addison's. And I really wanted to do an MRI a while back. I was told that it's probably not that serious. And now it's at the point where it's too late to even do anything. They can't remove it. My options that I'll update you guys on. I'm sorry, I don't even know if I'm editing this, just throwing it online or what. I just need to talk, I just need to talk to this camera. Um, this just sucks. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna get a call and if he's stable, I am able to take him home and give him the hormone and steroids, all that medication that he needs. Best case, in one to two weeks we see an improvement and then there's a possibility of him doing radiation for about a month five days a week and um, that would give me a, f a few more months with him um, or you know we just wait it out for it to finish its course um, but the scary thing is, is the vet keeps telling me that he could die any second. Whether that's, you know, he does go with the radiation therapy. They told me that, um, today in order to get the MRI, they put him on anesthesia. And, um, he didn't really do too good. She said at one point, he didn't. She said at one point she didn't think that he would make it out of that. So that was really scary hearing that, you know, I might not even see him alive when I go get him. Um, basically what started all this was for like three days, Cyber wasn't eating. Uh, on the f and coming to the fourth day, I brought him to his breeder, which is also his vet. And she said, He's like half dead. He's not interacting with other dogs. He's not, you know, he just looks depressed. So she recommended I bring him to <clears throat> a college campus that has a, you know, a vet on site. And that place is one and a half hours away. So I brought him there. They watched him overnight. Then they said they put him on Addison medication because he tested positive for that. And then the next day, which is today, they confirmed from that MRI that he has cancer.
I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I told him that if they don't think he's stable, I would want to do an in-home, you know, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. Uh, they said worst case is tomorrow morning, his, you know, if his heart rate isn't stable enough for a car ride home, that they would opt to just put him down there, which obviously is worst case, not only because that's the soonest time of when Cyber would be leaving, but I wouldn't get to see him. So I would love to take him home and just spend as much time with him. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna spend as much time as I can with him and film it and record it because I was going through all these pictures I took and uh, I'm just glad I have those. Um, I made a bucket list of stuff we're gonna do when he gets back and I just really hope he pulls through and, you know, this, this isn't <clears throat> the end, I don't know. I'm just making this video. <clears throat> I'm just making this video just to talk. And, um, just... If you think something's wrong with your dog, like, tell someone, and if they tell you otherwise, tell them you want to check anyways. I really wish a few months ago I would have just kept pestering to get the MRI. I know it's not my fault that he has cancer, but obviously I wish I could have done something sooner, but I don't know. It just sucks so much. It's no one's fault. But still, <clears throat> I don't know, just been thinking about it, and it doesn't feel real, it doesn't feel like this should be happening. I never expected that I would be losing him so soon. They said that he could die any time from now, you know, into a few days, like, I don't know, so, yeah, I was thinking about just making a video every day with him and just spending as much time as I can with him, so I just always have those memories, but I don't even want to have to think like that, it sucks I have to start thinking like that, so, alright, I'll update soon. Hi, it's Dr. McAtee, I'm calling about Cyber. Hi. Hi, I'm uh, the doctor kind of taking over him today from Dr. Johnson. She updated me on everything from, um, you know, his visit here in hospital. Uh, just wanted to call you, give you an update. Overnight, he's, you know, been, been similar. I'd say this morning he looks similar as to how he looked yesterday morning. Um, you know, he's still not regulating his temperature very well and still no interest in eating or drinking. Um, but I know your goals were kind of to get him home to spend some time with him, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I think that um, if you want to, to come pick him up this morning, you know, he could go home with you. I, I'm worried that if he doesn't eat or drink at all, he's going to, you know, go downhill pretty quickly and, you know, considering his, his quality of life at that point. Um, but I have all his, his medications, getting them ready for him to, to go home with you and spend some time with you. Okay. Um, thank you for the update. I'll um, head there shortly. I'm about like an hour and a half away, so. Okay. Um, sounds good. I would, you know, since he's still not regulating his temperature very well, I'd bring a lot of blankets in your car and just when you get here, you can leave your car running so it stays nice and warm. Mm -hmm. um, does that sound okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? No, I know that you. Dr. Johnson went really in depth with you yesterday. No, that's fine. I'll I'll head there now. Okay, so should we expect you around like eleven then or Yeah, around then. Okay. Um sounds good. We'll see you around then, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye.
Hey guys, a little update. So as you guys saw from that footage, Cyber was able to be brought home this morning, thankfully. He's actually right here. Hey buddy, can you eat some chicken, your favorite food for me? Mmm, eat your favorite food for me. Oh, Mr. Cyber. So he's on um quite the quite the medication right now he's on a few things i gave him like a stimulant i'll just show you what he has so he's taking all of this you can pause it if you care to read about it you know if you're like a nerd or something i'm just kidding um but this is all the stuff that he's taking um i'll just kind of briefly go through it a lot of hormone stuff just because that's where the tumor is in his brain but um you know, we got reduced stomach acid, appetite stimulant, just to get him eating, hopefully. If Cyber takes this and he gets better, then radiation is an option. But if he gets worse, they don't believe that that's something that we should go through with. Uh, the tumor is taking up about a quarter of his brain right now. So, obviously you can't remove it. Uh, so... I read some things online. I don't know how legit it is, but obviously I'm trying anything I can. Uh, I heard that this juice right here practically gets rid of cancers in humans and dogs. Uh, don't quote me on that. That's just something I've heard. And um, this whole thing I'm doing right here is that there's a there's a heater under here. And I just have all the heat going to him because he can't regulate his own body temperature. So I'm just making sure he's, you know, nice and warm. And, uh, yeah, a little update. So I, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to film as much as I can because obviously I want to appreciate every moment I can with him and have something to look back on. So... You know, I appreciate you guys following our journey from whenever you started watching to now. I'm not giving up on him. Uh, I have hope. And um, I just want to give as much, you know, love and support to him as I can these moments that I have him, however long. They told me if he were to go home, it could be a few days. Um, I already said this early in the video, but... You know, he could be he could, he could be gone anytime soon, and I just want to make sure I'm giving him everything I can. But right now, I'm just letting him sleep. He took that some of that medicine, so he's ha having some like you know sleepy side effects. But uh, yeah. Uh, Big bed like this. You got one Besides, right here. He's fine on this. He looks pretty comfortable. Yeah. Is that from your bed? Mm hmm. I just want to take the rest of this video to say thank you to seriously anyone that's ever supported us in any way. Um, you guys have been crazy supportive on Instagram. All the DMs I've gotten, like just sending us love and prayers and, you know, just best wishes and all this. Like it seriously means the world to me. Um, I really didn't know how much of an impact Cyber and I have had on people. I've had a few messages with people telling me that, you know, I was someone who inspired them to get a Doberman and... You know, I really hope, you know, I don't know, like I can continue to keep inspiring people to just love their dogs and just try to give dogs as much love as they can, you know. Um, I just want to end this video by seriously just saying thank you again. And uh, I'm not giving up on, you know, everything. Um, I'm going to keep trying and give Cyber the best, you know, remaining time I can. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos and it really uh, helps me 
you know, just enjoy life. So, all right, I'm going to end the video soon, and uh, I'll update you guys very shortly. Uh, thank you again. Bye-bye.